This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. Check out this free coin offer for my viewers. Noble Gold has thousands of clients who have safely invested with them. Most heard an ad just like this and called the experts. And for the month of March, with a qualified IRA above 20K, you'll get a three ounce silver American virtue coin or a five ounce America the beautiful silver coin for anything over 50K. Call 877-646-5347 now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. You can also find the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. Welcome back and thanks for watching. This is a good one. So go ahead and hit that like button right now. Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the Democrats and their media have used the opportunity to try and improve their chances for the midterms by erroneously claiming that their political opponents are pro-Putin for things like voting against an omnibus budget bill that included aid to Ukraine. Um, Madam President, I got the chance to hear some of Senator Sass's remarks. I noted a floor chart with my name on it, accusing me of what he called tribal hackery. I'm not exactly sure what the rules of the Senate are. I'm not sure that that is becoming of the United States Senate, to use those terms about fellow members. Um, but let me come down to the floor to explain why I think we should have a legitimate debate in this chamber about a phenomenon in which Republicans very often are not willing to cast their vote in a way that is aligned with their voice. Yes, I noted this morning, as was displayed on Senator Sass's chart, that this week, of the Republicans who stood up at a press conference and eviscerated President Biden's handling of the Ukraine crisis, two-thirds of them voted against the budget that included $14 billion of aid to Ukraine. I see a fundamental inconsistency in criticizing an administration for not doing enough, but then not being willing to cast a vote to get aid to the people of Ukraine. Now, Senator Sass's second chart, the one that didn't accuse me of tribal hackery, laid out a very true statement in which a small percentage of the overall budget is dedicated to Ukraine aid. That is, of course, true. But the reason why I find it concerning that members of the Senate, who I take their word for it, are genuinely interested in getting help to the people of Ukraine, are then voting against the budget that delivers it, is because it speaks to a broader problem in the Senate today. So let me get this straight. Ukraine gets 800 million, Congress gave themselves a 21% raise, and the rest of us just get 8% inflation, exploding gas prices, and more COVID restrictions. What a bargain. Do you see what's going on here? Democrat Senator Chris Murphy is playing his part in this scheme by claiming that Republicans who voted against this budget were doing so because they wanted to keep the aid from Ukraine, thus helping Vladimir Putin. This is a common tactic for the Democrat party where they'll insert a poison pill into a bill because they know it will keep the Republicans from voting yes, which they and their media will then use as propaganda against them. It's a tactic that only works because the Democrats have control of the media and is especially needed by them now because they're looking to get demolished in the midterms. Now grab some popcorn, sit back, and enjoy as Republican Senator Ben Sasse absolutely humiliates this Democrat for his scheme to withhold Ukrainian aid. Now, of well, sure. Senator, I'd, I'd, be happy, I'd be happy to yield. Yeah, so I, I haven't, I mean, Senator Sat, I was going to try to respond to your critique, um, and but I'm happy to yield at this point. So let me just see if I understand what you just said. So eight tenths of one percent of the bill that was passed in the middle of the night last week is about Ukrainian aid. Do you believe that the people who voted against it voted against it because they were against Ukrainian aid? So every one of us approaches a I'm big... I'm asking a really simple question. Do you think a single person that your Twitter self-pleasuring was for, do you think a single person that voted against it 
voted against it because they were against Ukrainian aid? Absolutely not. So then what's the point of the tweet? The point is Fan this, service. is that the only way that this place passes legislation right, is compromise, is voting on pieces of legislation that have in it... Where are the pieces, dude? That, it's $1.5 trillion. If the senator... If the senator Senators, the I'd ask the senators to direct their questioning to the president and uh, yes, give Madam the other president. senators the decorum to respond. I think there are three topics. Argue with me if, if, I, if I misread the three topics before us. One is Ukrainian aid. I don't think we differ. And the reason I came to make a speech, and you and I have talked about this offline multiple times in the past, um, let, me, let me name the three. One, there's Ukrainian aid. Two, there's the budgeting and appropriations process. And three, there's the grandstanding that happens for audiences that don't have anything to do with persuading a single human being that's called to work in this space. In bucket one, I think you know that not a person who voted against it, the Omni, voted against it because of the Ukrainian aid. So I think it's a dishonest argument. On bucket two, which well, I'm jumping in and you have the floor, so I'll, I'll give it back to you. But on bucket two, you've repeatedly used the term people won't vote for something because it's not perfect. I think that if we could put the appropriations process of the United States Congress up to the American people for a referendum, the idea that you want to give it a B plus or an A minus, I submit you should take that to the voters of Connecticut and try to persuade them of that, because I'm going to guess that whatever the overall approval rating is of Congress bounces around between like 9 and 15 percent. My guess is the way we spend money is lower than that. So I don't think you want to give yourself an 86 or a 92 or a 95 percent because it's not perfect. It's obviously an F. The way that we spend money here is not deliberative. It's not thought out. It's always thousands of pages that come out in the middle of the night. And it always grows. So to your point that you say budgets pass around here with 50 of 50 Democrats and 10 or 12 of 50 Republicans, that's true. We do have a philosophical difference about whether or not the appropriations process works. I think you're the one voting on the side that's misaligned with both fiscal reality and the will of the American people. But I didn't come to beat you up about voting. I'm supposed to direct it through the president. Madam President, I don't think the uh, senator from Connecticut uh, is on the floor because I came to attack him for voting for the Omni. I didn't. He misrepresented why some people who voted against the Omni were dishonest by saying they were for more Ukrainian aid when there was Ukrainian aid in this budget. But the real thing we're talking about is grandstanding because there's not a person on earth who's persuaded by that kind of tweet. You didn't move anybody. You're doing fan service for a subset of people who like Chris Murphy. I get why some people would like things that you stand for and advocate for. I get it. But there's not a person who disagreed with you who's moved because of a tweet like that. There's not an uninformed American who became informed. But there is a subset of the people who already like you that you got to grandstand for. That's all that happened with that tweet. The Republic got dumber because of that tweet. Nobody learned anything. I love it. We need more of this energy from the Republicans because we just cannot count on our corrupt media to ever call this stuff out. I mean, they're literally withholding aid from Ukraine to own the Republicans. Isn't that a serious scandal? Or only when it can be used against the Democrats' political opponents? Sase made several mentions of a tweet put out by Chris Murphy, and when he was pressed on it, he admitted that he didn't believe that Republicans voted no because of Ukrainian aid. Yeah, in this tweet, that's exactly what he did. Of the Republican senators who attended this week's Biden isn't doing it enough for Ukraine press conference, two-thirds of them voted against the bipartisan $12 billion Ukrainian aid package. Do you think a single person that your Twitter self-pleasuring was for, do you think a single person that voted against it, voted against it because they were against Ukrainian aid? Absolutely not. So then what's the point of the tweet?